What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. A popular story has come out regarding rapper Drake, and it's come via Myron on the Fresh and Fit podcast. And there was a clip that he was doing. He talks about some ladies that um, he knows that have been to some of Drake's parties. Okay. And according to Myron, the, when when these girls show up and, and, and Drake invites them, you will see about five to ten different guys, right? And you will see 50 to 100 girls. All of them are there for him. All right. He doesn't pay them any attention. He's focused on the music, meeting the other guys there, the other musicians. And that's why he's there. The women that's there, they're just there like uh, like furniture uh, in the party or eye candy. But he's focused on what he's trying to do. Now, if you think of the, the, the average guy, including myself, um, if we go to a party, and it's 50 to 100 girls. And I'm, I'm back in Poland. Now. I went to an African party the other day. And it was like, it's like 100 guys and like 30 girls. Um, and you, you, you see this, you know, in, in, in most clubs and, you know, that are like lower level. Uh, you know, a, a lot of the girls in, in these clubs that you guys go to, most of them are not so good looking. They're you know, average. Then they, you know, sometime and... <laughs> Their complaints to some of people being musty, men and women. So you got to imagine that the women that Drake is inviting are coming to his private party. They are beautiful, fine, booty, breasts, white, black, everything. If it was me or you in there, we in there talking about tricking. We're going to stop playing. We're going to be talking about doing some tricking up in there. We're going to be buying drinks. What's your number? Can I follow you on Instagram? Right? That's because we are, for the most part, normal guys. Some of you guys don't come on here and start lying, acting like, you know, you don't be doing that. But you do. You do, because I saw you. All right? But if we really want to be real about it, that's what's going on. However, Drake is so high value. He's been there. He's done that. He's made a lot of money. His attitude is... You chicks come here tonight, you can't do shit for me. You can't do nothing for me. I'm Drake. I'm the hot shit. I'm the prize. We know I'm the prize because I'm the, like, I'm me. So you can't do nothing for me. And in fact, if I talk to you, what you might try to do is clout chase me, try to do something, try to get a scandal, try to get, you know, off my name. So I'm going to invite you here so that you look good and so it it, 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 it it sounds good. But as far as you dealing with me, hell nah. I'm here to meet the other guys that got money because you can't do nothing for me. Period. Ain't shit you can do for me. Now, this is why guys like Drake continue on the successful path. Because they see the obstacle. And every man's obstacle is beautiful women. Nice booties, pretty hair, all of that pretty face. Imagine having any kind of woman that you want. It's just like being rich, right? Having money. I talk to guys all the time offline. You know, having money is, is something, man. Like, I, I, I've been doing pretty decent since 2016. Since 2016, since I've been in, in, in the sphere, towards the end of that, I've been able to go around almost any place in the world, first class, Whatever I want to go, don't matter the time. I can go today, be there tomorrow. Um, I can buy anything in the mall that I want. And I just have the, the 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 patience not to buy it because you just don't need it. And you don't need to prove anything by getting it. And when we talk about the red pill, guys talk about it as content creators. Guys talk about it. But to the ultimate is, is Drake. Where you're in the seat of beautiful women and it don't matter. Because I'm so focused on what I need to do. I've been there. I've done that. It's not about them. And all these girls are there for him. Okay? 
And if you think about it, these girls have all kind of men in their DMs. Hoopers, footballers, soccer players, right? NFL players, guys that got money, guys begging, simping, like, sad music. Baby, I just want to do anything for you just to give me some of your time. Please, 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 please. Nope, doesn't matter, right? Those girls want Drake. They come there, they're trying to get his attention, all of that. Guess what? You get nothing. Why? Because it's me. And see, I think that if black men really develop this kind of mindset, it's hard, you know? Because even me, like, when I'm trying to do something to, in, in, in the day, when I first got to, let's say, like, Uganda or, or, or Brazil, I was just trying to chase everything, right? Now in my older years, I'm starting to realize the value that I got, who I am, I don't do that no more. I ain't got nearly as much money as Drake, right? But it's about me. It's about my life. If you want to be around me, you're going to be there. You're going to wait on me. That's and, and, and the thing about it is this. Hold hold on. Let me use my, my grandfather, who was a great philosopher. What did he always tell me? Son, women are always going to be here. Two things are always going to be here is women and water. Do what you're supposed to do, son. They're going to be there waiting on you. There was a Nigerian doctor I used to uh, used to mentor me. He said, listen, you graduate medical school. Those women are going to be lot, uh, um, um, all around the corner trying to talk to you. Do what you're supposed to do. Okay? And Alpha Male Strategies talks about it as what? Having an abundance mindset. See, so many guys, when it comes to money or women, they, they, they've they never had it so much, so they just jump at anything. Some guys, you see guys just doing anything to make money, doing anything to try to get rich, you know, not understanding what they're doing, how the business works, how the value chains work, just doing whatever. Women, they do anything, same thing to get a woman to have sex, whatever, right? At the same time, you are doing that because you're jumping at everything. You're not jumping at the best thing. You don't have an abundance mindset. But when you have an abundance mindset, you know that it's always going to be there. Money is always going to be there. Like, even in the business that I'm in, which is celebrity. Celebrity is huge. I'm just doing it for black men in the manosphere. It's more than anybody can get. There's certain days it'll be topics y'all be sending me. I can't get a man because it's like, okay, I just get it tomorrow. It'll be there tomorrow. That's how it is if you do what you're supposed to do. Work on yourself. Get those connections. Get into those networks. Those women get prettier, prettier. They get the, the booties get rounder. The, the, the education level gets better. The quality of life gets better. Opportunities. But it's really the, 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 the people that are there, the business people you want to connect with. The, 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 the rich people. You know? The guys who have the distribution companies. See, that's the key. If black men understood that, that's where you get the money from. You get the money from the connections with the men who have the industries, the men who have the infrastructures. That's who you talk to, and you just bring them there to talk to the girls, right? It's actually going to be a good business deal because what's going to happen? The guys who probably don't get the girls as much, those industry guys are going to be able to interact with them. So Drake brings those girls in for them, the guys he wants to do business with. How smart is that? So look, man, these girls are here for me, but check this out. I want to be a good host. They're here for you. How about this? How about you, you know, me, you do some business, and you holler at these chicks. And those girls are going to be like, well, shit, since I can't get Drake, I might as well get this guy. And then Drake get the deal. More money on more money on more money. That's how it works. Creating an environment for rich guys who want to see fine chicks. That's how it works. So when black men start to do this, and, you know, and, and he's bringing these girls to impress his rich male friends, that's how you make more money, impressing the guys that got money, not impressing these chicks. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.